I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak, and uh, we're coming to you today from New York City, from the Nasdaq building. My very special guest right now is Sonia Jones, who is the co-founder of Sonima Wellness and the Sonima Foundation. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So before we get into all this yeah. big stuff that you're doing, I want to know a little bit uh, about you. Our audience wants to know that. Okay. So you grew up in Australia. I grew up in Sydney. Yeah. A very healthy lifestyle. Yes. Simple and healthy. Yeah. And then uh, you moved to the U.S. When did you move to the U.S.? I moved to the U.S. in around 1986. At to that model. time, yeah. yeah, you were modeling. I was modeling. That was your career. It was a big change. You were a beauty queen in Australia, well, I, I believe. I, I don't know whether it's beauty queen, but yeah, I was modeling yeah. and came here to model. Yeah. And um, it was quite a different lifestyle, going uh, from the beaches of Sydney to New York City. And somewhere along the way, mm -hmm. you kind of went into the yoga lifestyle. Well, that was kind of a big jump. It's, it's interesting. When I first moved here, I was always very healthy. Growing up in Australia, it's just a, definitely a healthy lifestyle, kind of similar, I suppose, to California. Mm -hmm. And when I moved here, I still went to gyms and would walk in the city and that kind of thing. But once I started having children, there was a big gap in my taking care of myself. Um, because I had four children, one after the other. I think I had four children in six years, all by cesarean. And as you know, when you have children in rapid succession like that, that doesn't leave that much time to yourself. So I found that I kind of put myself on the back burner and spent a lot of time caretaking. And I've felt that I got weaker and weaker in my physical body and um, to the point where after my fourth child I had I had a cesarean and three days later I had to have back surgery mm. because my back was so bad. Mm -hmm. So that led you to look into the practice of yoga? Is well it led true? me it, it led me to the realization that if you're going to take care of other people you have to take care of yourself first and I came off back surgery and a very good friend, um, Tony Robbins, who's a very good friend sure. of my husband and I and, mine. and yours, uh, um, introduced us to um, the guru of back pain, who was um, Peter Goscue. Sure. And Pete basically brought me back from a period of not being able to stand up at 29 after my fourth child because it was so painful after back surgery to back riding horses, back doing, you know, uh, what they call patches, like um, very difficult workouts. And he and his wife both said to me, okay, you're ready. And I said, what am I ready for? They said, you're ready to start yoga. Mm -hmm. 